What's cracking, Josie Garfunkel? Let's learn some shit. On this episode of the G Show, I'm going to show you how spawnable types and random presets work so we can add loot to a C chest. So when you first open your spawnable types file, you're going to see some stuff. Today we're going to be working with the C chest. And you'll notice it has a hoarder tag. Many items do. What that's doing is over here in the types file, when you say count in hoarder, if you want this item's values to be counted within a hoarder, you would tag that item in your spawnable types. It is its own open and its own close to be a hoarder. You can also do this with cargo and count in cargo. When scrolling through the spawnable types, you'll see all these little inserts of different items. And then you got what's going to be inside of them, but they have chances. What this is doing is creating a little loot pool with cargo chances. So the chance of the actual loot pool in this example is 10% as 1 would be 100%. 1.0 1 1.5 1 that's 100%. And then within that loot pool if it gets it which at 100% it will at 10% might not then you have the chances of the items within them. So let's take a look at a couple examples here of how you can structure or format your spawnable types. You'll notice all these items over here listed over here. Let's go over it real quick. So to start with we have a vest. I made a miniature loot pool here. Gave it a hundred percent chance of existing and then gave equal parts to the three items within that loot pool we ended up getting the vest you could also for a single guaranteed item just 100 percent or one and there's the item guaranteed you'll get it within the container as long as there's enough space for it to fit again you're gonna have to do math and know some slot sizes or how much space it takes up for console you can save yourself some space within your files by making your items single lines as you can see demonstrated up here I do this with many items that I'm not going to use or just need them to have the damage or need them to have a hoarder tag etc this just saves a lot of space does take a lot of time another thing you could do is give items chances to be directly without the secondary chance and I did this in a single line to show the example cargo chance 100 percent to be a shovel just directly and then 50% chance to have night vision goggles or a stone we got night vision goggles we didn't get a stone in here 50 50 chance and then for direct calling with no chance whatsoever you can just put cargo put the item name put a closing cargo tag again save yourself some space make it a single line just mind your syntax pay attention validate and then we got a headlight in here another method of supplying loot or loot pools or randomizing chance is using the random presets file also located in your missions right above your spawnable types so what these are are little subcategories or small loot pools like for example this tools medic which is these are all vanilla examples cargo chance is 35 percent so if you tag an item in spawnable types with the cargo preset of tools medic has a 35 percent chance of actually getting an item in here within that chance if it hits on that 35 it has these chances 5 percent 15 percent 10 percent 5 5 10 of hitting on this item within the loot pool does that guarantee you get the item? Not unless all this adds up to a hundred or higher. You can have them higher. It's not going to hurt it. It just ups that item's chance of being the chosen one.
but overall it's a 35% chance of getting something within that loot pool. So for our sea chest or anything else in the game, we're going to set some up real quick for some tools. So we're going to give this a custom name, custom tools, simple enough. And we want a shovel, a pickaxe, or a wooden axe. We guaranteed want this to be an item, so we give this 100% chance. And then within this, we want an evenly distributed 33% across the board. You could give it the extra three or something, it's not really gonna matter. It's guaranteed getting one of these items. And then we want, want to put a tent in there, right? Let's put a tent, tents. All right, so let's open our types file and get some examples of tents. And we're gonna give it a chance to be a medium tent. So let's choose, let's go ahead and choose all the medium tents. Control D and notepad to duplicate lines. I don't know how many there are, but I think there's a handful of them now. I'm wrong, there's three. So back to the 33% chance right on control s to save now we have a tools category and a tent category what else could we use for a sea chest Alright, now that we got a few little random presets made, just some simple starting base gear, I guess we could say. I'll share this example in the Discord for those interested. And what we're going to do is come over here to the spawnable types. Let's get rid of the uh, intros example. And what we need to do is make cargo preset tags. Let's go find you another example of that, as you can see right here actually cargo presets this doesn't have technically its own open and close it is its own open and close there's the open slash for close down here and it's its own little tag so let's bring that up here to our sea chest put a couple spaces in between to make it easy there and what we need to do is copy these random preset names into the cargo preset tag to keep you from having to go back and forth on pages if you're using notepad you can right click move document move to other view now you can go back and forth easy control D duplicate you some lines there just go through copy and paste control C control V control C control V and you get your tags in there. Control S to save. Do it to both documents if you made changes. You can click, hold, and drag. Get that back over into the same window. I like to keep my files together where I'm using them. So we got our random presets. We got our few tags in the C chest. Let's load up. Check it out. Alright, let's see what we got here. Pull up our little menu. We got the custom tools. We tagged it for all of these. So we have shovel, pickaxe, wooden axe. We got hit on the shovel. We got 25% chance of four different tools here. We got some pliers. 25% chance here. We got some regular metal wire. Looks like we got a regular medium tent because that don't look green or orange to me. We got a lamp and a large canister. Medium? Medium? Large. 
So that shows us a little bit of variety there. It's one way to do that. But what if we want to give the players some actual building materials? Let's look up our logs and our planks real quick. So the wooden log and the wooden plank. You can't spawn them in as loot in your vanilla files because crafted equals one. That's called a bool, means on or off, true or false, one is true on, zero is false off. So we want to turn that off. Quick tip, never turn this off. It will just non-stop spawn that item's value. Never. That ruins your server instantly. <laughs> anyway, back to our regularly scheduled program. So, we still don't want to give it value because we're not giving it anything to be loot. We just need to make it crafted equals off or zero so we can actually use it as loot. Now let's do that. Go in here to our custom building. That's backwards. Caps lock off. And let's paste in that and let's also do the same thing to the wooden plank crafted equals zero or off don't forget to control s to save that file before you upload it and paste these in here 50 50 chance of being some building materials we need to make new random presets duplicate duplicate we have custom building one and custom building two. Control S to save. Do it constantly. So down here, custom building one and here's for custom building two. Control S to save. Now we no longer have room for tents or larger tools to be honest. So we're going to take all that out, actually, tell you what, while we're here, let's take all of these, copy them for later, go back to our types file, the wooden crate, crafted one as it is a crafted item, say we want to use that for a custom event for custom loot. Crafted equals zero or off, still no value so it doesn't get used as loot. Let's come back over here to our spawnable types. Find control F wooden crate and I am blind it is right there. So let's copy that entry put it right below our C chest let's come back over here to these tags that we had control C to copy spawnable types control V to paste we're obviously not gonna have enough room for a tent and all that other gear but we're gonna go ahead and take that out and leave the rest of it in here while we're doing that we're gonna go to that event that we made you can watch one of my videos on how to make a custom event or pause and take note now click this is how many children of this type we allow for that event this is how many we allow per event event spawns we gave it one we can give it two if we would like let's copy that over there into our eyes revive to see where our other one was over here on prison island we want to put another one right there so control c on there control v on here you don't need the decimal unless you're looking for precise increments these are just grid units and of course zero is rotation zero and 360 both equal north 180 would equal south etc use a compass think you got it 
course, don't forget to control S to save, control S to save, control S to save, and control S to save for all the files that we did use. There was one that I did not save. All right, so let's load up, check out, see what we got. All right, over here in our crate, got a lamp, box of nails, and a hammer. Let's come over here to our sea chest. Got a stack of planks. Now, a stack of planks holds 10 planks, and it has 16 slots or space availability on PC. Not quite sure how that works on console, but I know it's a hundred slots. Let's go fill that up. So what we want to do is we want this random preset to be 100% the plank. We don't need custom building too since it's the same. We can just tag the same preset over and over so we need a wooden plank 100% spawnable types that's 16 slots pull up our calculator we need 100 slots divided by 16 slots 6 and a quarter so we can have planks go in here 6 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 there we go we know how to do basic math alright Let's go reload this, test it out again. Alright, let's take a look, see what we got. We got a bunch of stacks of planks. I guess technically we could have had another stack, but PC does seem to work a little bit differently, so looks like console's got the upper end, console would have put the stack in. Fix your shit, Daisy. So there we have it. Spawnable types, how they work traditionally, with various examples, how random presets work, and how we tag the spawnable types with the random presets. And we learned how to make things in types spawnable as loot by making crafted turned off. And now we can use the wooden crate as a 50 slot vessel for some other loot as well we briefly looked at events and event spawns what the fuck alright well that's gonna be it for this one hope you learned some shit I'm out